Welcome back into another Dragon Ball Supercar game video. So today I want to kind of continue the budget series that I've had for, I don't know, kind of forever. I don't know, since I started the, the entire channel. And I think the Dragon Ball Supercar game has been pretty good about budgets and of course i plan to try to uh expand that to other card games like my hero digimon etc even one piece when it comes out but kind of don't really know what that's going to look like just yet either way today i have three different decks that you can play right now in 2022 uh that are is, is actually going to be pretty good to play i mean i, I think you can take to any of these uh, uh decks to locals and you'll have kind of uh, a few different options to upgrade them um, to make them a little bit more competitive or a little bit better just overall. And the first one that we have right now is this budget version of Rildo. And honestly, I have enjoyed Rildo. You didn't really give it a chance when it first came out. I thought it was just going to be another Dr. Mew, and I kind of am correct. But the thing about it is that uh, I think it is better in the way that it is a lot more consistent uh you have more options and red is good right now so <laughs> because of all of that you kind of have basically all of the the things that um red can give you and then you have a very specific archetype that um the deck itself can give you and you can kind of ignore uh the prices here every deck that i'm going to show you is going to be at or around about 60 bucks uh hopefully none of these will spark a spike in price um the the reason why this is showing this is because of the foil versions are being counted not so much of um the commons and uncommons and most of this deck is actually just on commons and commons and basically basically i would say this deck is focused on building your uh super sigma and uh building into the five drop uh real dose and then building into the seven drop real dose and then ending the game that way um the jiren unison does really well to kind of um uh, i don't know kind of mitigate a lot of different threats uh it's really good against blocker negates it's really good against like really anything that uh, a, a unison can't or things can't really really get against things that can't really interact with a unison so like you're just swinging with a 20k double strike for post turn three every single turn don't, don't really need to explain that if you are not new to the game but if you are new if you haven't seen this already basically real though swings and draw or doesn't draw Swings doesn't draw, but plays up to one red machine mutant with an energy cost of one from your hand. And that's going to be any of the Nezis, that's going to be any of the real does, etc. And it kind of replaces what your draw is going to be. He wakes, uh, awakens, at, he wakes up, he wakens out four or less, uh, and choose, or you can choose three cards underneath a Super Sigma in your battle area and place it underneath the card, and then draw one card. And then switch up to one of your energy active mode and take life until you have six. The other side is the same thing where you can swing and take uh, or play out a one drop. And then if you uh, activate evolve, which can uh, include EX evolve and all the other evolves and normal evolves, you know, and union absorb, which is very specific um to the union absorb that's on these cards you get to draw a card and the other part of it is that the activate battle you place one card underneath these cards into the owner's drop area then it gets 5k power for the battle which is not bad because you have three chances to do that per turn if you go the super sigma route which is pretty much what you're gonna want to do basically the lineup for the one drops is what you're gonna have to learn first then you have to learn what you're gonna be doing to get into super sigma to awaken early and get that draw which is pretty easy honestly and then of course you have to figure out that <clears throat> you do need the five drops into the uh or on the field and then you go ahead and summon the seven drops afterwards going quickly left to right there are two different real does one from the uh general real do combination ready basically this guy says look at the top five gets a uh red machine man among them and then adds to your hand the union absorb is that you choose one super sigma in your battle area or drop area and place it through the card and you play a general real do with energy cost of five from the deck or hand on top of it now <clears throat> one thing i should mention is that this planet 
uh, the mechanized planet is basically planet M2, quote unquote. You can't really see my quotes. Um, and if your leader is a Dr. Mew card, which it is uh, on both sides, I do believe, you get to draw one and then discard one from your hand. And usually what you want to do is draw two uh, and then discard one of these guys or uh, one of the other Super Sigmas here, which this should be four. I apologize. This should be four. Overall, the <laughs> deck count is 56. Uh, so, I, I mean, if anything, <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, that's uh yeah it's a lot of a lot of cards but you know you actually kind of deck out if you have like 52 53 even at 50 i i can't see someone not decking out here because what happens is that again you look at the top five for your machine mutant you usually get any of the other machine mutants or another real dough that you might need uh from there uh the other uh real dough is the same thing where you use a sigma from your battle area or drop area and the place underneath and play a five drop afterwards this one just draws you a card it's basically the the replacement for the leader draw and i think the consistency thing that i was talking about before is helped by or realized by the top five here uh and as well as just being able to use mechanized planning at any time then we also have the nezi combination ready um this one has a barrier or has barrier what am i doing uh you get to use the one drop uh or the one of the one drop effects you get to play it for free is what I'm saying. It has barrier, which is nice because your Union Absorb says you you can choose a Bizu or Bizu ribbit uh, and a one ribbit from your hand or battle area and place it the card and then play up to one Super Sigma from your deck or drop from on top of the card. And uh, the it sucks that you don't you're not able to use it from your drop. But the auto does say when this card is played from your hand, you add up to one Bizu from your deck or drop area uh, and then shuffle into your, your deck if you look through it. So uh, one of the things that you do do uh, is that the mechanized planet, you draw two and you can uh, discard one of the, the Bizu or the Ribbits, which basically uh, the Bizu gets the Ribbit and the Ribbit gets the Nezi uh, from deck or drop. And basically you can use this to draw two, discard one of these guys play it for free, play one of the guys for free and get the other from drop. Um, and then you can use this, the Union Absorb for one to on turn two, basically Union Absorb into the Super Sigma or one of the Super Sigmas and then uh, Awaken. Cause you'll have the three underneath if you do it right. This Super Sigma is a barrier blocker. So he's a 20K barrier blocker when he is played from the deck hand, whatever it may be. You get to draw one card and you get to minus 10K for the duration of the turn for one of their battle cards. And their activate battle is that you choose one Nizi Bizu or Ribbit from your hand or battle area and place it in the owner drop area. And then you can play this from your drop area. I don't think it's really worth doing that, but uh, there you go. I mean, that's that's cool, I guess, if you really want a barrier blocker that draws one. Other Super Sigma that I play is the old one, which I, well, one, it's cheap, and two, it's one of my favorite cards from set three. It's super, super, super old at this point. What, two, three years at this point? Maybe even more. Um, he is a double striker. You get to pay for 20, or it is a 20K double striker, that is. And you, and you basically get to swing with it. You activate main when it's in rest mode or whenever. You draw two cards and you choose up to one of their opponent's battle cards and lose loses 10K through the duration of turn. Ignore this text, that is, because it's no longer relevant. Uh, but you get to draw two, which is nice because you get to draw one here, you get to draw two, one, uh, two here, and you just kind of play this as a two of just as another option in case you don't see one of these, which again, you should play this at four. So yeah, you basically swing, uh, you play the one drops, you play the Union Absorb. Um, the only downside to this is that the Union Absorb is on the front side to Awaken, even though your Awaken says, or your Awaken side says, Union Absorb draw one. So kind of annoying thing to um, not have, or to sequence, I should say. And then from there, you get to draw two, um, and your job from there is basically uh, to play your general real dough. So you have the one drops, of course, that in total energy, you pay one or you pay three, but because you're a leader, you get to uh, play these guys for free and then pay two and then go into these uh, five drop uh, metal real dose where this guy is a blocker. Um, and when you play this card, you get to draw one card. And if you don't, you get to activate it and play them to you from your deck and shuffle it. So this guy basically gets out of your deck, you draw two cards, and then you get to discard one. So three cards out of your deck, you kind of see, well, four cards with this one coming out of the deck if you uh, Union Absorb. Uh, you kind of see why you deck out so much. You basically want to see or need to see one of the one drops and you start decking out. 
Magic Battle is that you place one card from the uh the this card underneath this card to the owner's drop area, and then you choose one of your opponent's battle cards and add it to their life, which is interesting. You switch it to active mode if you do. So it's a form, I should say, quote unquote, uh, definitely a form of uh removal on your turn or their turn, but you're giving them a life. And this is so weirdly overlooked. Like, I don't know if I think we probably talked about it once as a community and then like it was like whatever you're basically giving them a life <laughs> and you're probably taking it away if you're swinging with this uh twice with 25k but very interesting way of removal and it's also very interesting and funny where you're swinging them at four with a 25k and then you use this to remove their battle card and add it to their life and go to five so their <laughs> their super combos are turned off for a lot of different draw to uh, super combo so that's that's always a funny interaction but that's basically it as far as uh getting your pieces together and then you absorbs together uh after you get the five drop here uh or this five drop where either you can play it um you can activate a uh playing m2 again from your deck um if you find that you're activating too many or you're drawing too many uh i would recommend to switch over to the other super combos the reddit super combos that you draw two in the bottom deck so that way you can bottom deck these and then you can just use these effects to get out planet m2 again or at least from your hand and then this guy says you choose one nat uh, Bizu and rip it from your hand a battle area and then placing the drop and then you play it from your hand So basically it doesn't have to flag doesn't have any protection this these really don't in general anyway uh, Which is the only downside, but it's only one energy the only uh, issue is that you're gonna be wasting the cost from your hand or battle area But on the right side if you do get to that point you get to ex evolve from this guy Where is a 30k double striker? You're able to place a planet m2 the planet the mechanized planet uh, from your hand or battle area so you don't have to do it from your battle area if you don't want to um, draw two cards and then choose your opponent's leader card it loses 5k for the turn which is just nuts because you're you, ha you quickly realize that you're paying one two three maybe three energy in total to get the same effect as a vegeta scr so <laughs> there you go and then all their opponent's battle cards and uh, loses 10k for the turn so that's pretty cool um, and then the other boy over here is a barrier blocker one cost evolve as well And then if it's their turn you get to place one card underneath the uh, this card Which you're gonna have a good amount because you're placing uh, this guy super sigma and then um, The a uh, five drop on top So you have like two to three cards in in total to do this effect where you switch it to active mode uh, You can block with it activate battle switch it to active mode and then against negative 5k for each turn that you do that doesn't have it once per turn so it kind of is like a super uh shenron uh yellow secret rare i don't know if he's a super shenron i don't know why i said that sin shenron there you go and then lastly if you didn't read this already uh you do draw two cards and uh discard one but the other effect just like the other planet m2 is that you activate battle you get to uh minus or 1000 from one of their battle cards doesn't remove a battle card like the other one which is why there's like a balancing thing like why not just play planet m2 or why not play this instead of planet m2 etc um this is uh just to get around uh, certain things like if you're going as a 25k and they say 25k you you restand this with with the uh, Activate battle effect then you just use this to get to 24k and then now you don't have the combo out It's just a free combo there that kind of applies to everything else that you're trying to uh, KO or swing at or whatever it may be we do play the Jiro because they're cheaper like I said play Raditz if you want to uh, That is the super combo Raditz that is uh, this is searchable uh, which is nice because this guy gets it and that's pretty much it you can play the one drop as well uh, let's go into here the dr mew where um you can look at the top three it's a little redundant um but i would say if you're playing this then you may as well play the baby chain as well where you can uh play the saiyan strength baby uh and the six drop and the five drop so i mean that's that's one route to take i think it's less consistent than the actual deck that it was built for um, but it is an option because you can you can play whatever is machine mutant for one and then kind of go from there You can go aggro as well with the other extra cards that machine mutants are uh, have access to speaking of extra cards We play uh, one of the is that all you got because you're gonna be pitching some of these uh, one drops out of your hand or a super sigma that you don't 
mean and they can use that for later for other combos and it's nice just to have a minus 15k in a kind of battle card meta when you really think about it a lot of uh decks right now are playing battle cards some of them are not 15k which is very annoying uh some of them have barrier which is very annoying but a lot of different black decks a lot of different some green decks uh, i don't really i can't really tell you but this is why you play it at one um some of the threats like cooler are like unison based so that's annoying we do also have like cell which uh, most of their stuff has uh fit or uh either 20k or has barrier but uh again depending if you do is all you got you minus 15k for two of them and then you after the image another then that's another 25k uh afterwards and it's nice to have when you go to six and you have a lot of stuff in your drop you can just use sparking uh testing the op is always good it's just a token negate you use it for your uh using your life that is five or less and then two of the merchants barrage that go with the jiren it's always nice to have a 15k or minus 15k for two things and uh having it for free and honestly you're just gonna be playing this like turn three or four and then by that time you'll see a yamcha from all the draw you have in cycling and then we also have Vegeta Resolved, which is mainly for different uh, for green decks, which uh, post turn three, if you're trying to get a real dough out and you're finding that a Frieza counterplay is trying to kill you, or if you're running to a Topo, or if you're into an Oceanus because you are uh, cycling through so much and decking yourself out, then this will answer that pretty easily. Um, and it's uh, very, very common now. <laughs> side deck, or at least sideboard cards. There are a lot of cards that I haven't listed here but uh the credit retribution uh going against yellow de or blue decks uh because none of this has deflect so playing this uh and uh sniping out a trunks counterplay is really good so that way uh they're not returning stuff and back into your hand the baby unison is just so good and is pretty much one of the things there is uh, kind of made for this deck uh the jiren uh sort of replaces baby as a uh cost efficient unison uh, this guy draws you a card swings 20k and removes something and basically gives your uh a leader uh a bean for the turn when you all of your energy is in rest mode so there's a lot of good stuff from that unison and then just like two more vegeta i just threw that in there but there are other things like uh violent rays uh, violent rays that uh, can go against uh, different black decks a little less popular now but anything that with 20 20k power or more etc would really help you but overall that's kind of how you play the deck i've had a lot of uh fun with this deck if anything if you want to see this uh, i am my the, the man of my word if you get this video to more than 40 likes i will go buy this deck uh for at or around 60 bucks and then have a or make a uh a uh, gameplay video with it uh and then i'll show you hey it's a budget deck and what it's about let me know in the comments below uh, i will close out for this one uh there are more other <laughs> more other other budget decks i am trying to do and this is going to be kind of the series of them i have like at least two or three more but let me know like this like comment subscribe if you are new see you next one